Happy day. Time to do the CSS battle. What's today? Oh. Well, this looks uh, like kind of an interesting one. Let's see. What's the way to approach this? Well, our background is that. Let's let's apply some margins to narrow to create the rectangle. Looks like it's sixty-five. And then the inner. So how tall is it? Uh, border bottom. No, border bottom. So I want to use logical properties. Uh, I haven't yet gotten to that. Let's, so what I'm going to do instead is do border color. I'm going to do So that's a, that's a weird shorthand. Border solid. Border. And then do border width of 10. Is that going to work? Maybe not. Oh, because you got to spell width correctly. Okay, so what did we just do? Uh, this is a shorthand for the top border and the bottom border uh, with border color. We're setting the border to solid to turn it on, and our border widths are some numbers. Uh, so we got to change this to be some other ridiculous color because we're going to get that later. So let's fix these numbers. Three, three, four. Four. Our height is wrong. And then 30. So that's what we've got now. Awfully close. So now our background is a linear gradient that goes at a right angle, which means it's 90 degrees. and then the uh, orangey red uh, and it's 30 pixels wide and then we need to set uh, an origin I think yesterday I did zero zero but in this case it's optional because we're only doing it on one axis, uh, it would matter if it was important that it started at the top corner. And here we can add, we can start at the, uh, just to make sure it starts at the left edge, the X edge. So now we just change this number. Wouldn't it be great if it was a percentage we could use? It seems unlikely. I see kind of a little line there. Hit it, hit it, hit it. 99.9%. Eh, not, not my favorite thing to be in that position. Uh, if, so it's what, 380, uh, 360 wide, so it's probably 330. And that probably is it. Kind of seeing a little ghost of an outline on the top and bottom. Nope. 100%. That's great. So run the plugins. Oh, whoops. And minify. And those are the apples. That That is a complete thing. So this zero stands out to me as weird for some reason. 
it's allowed to set a border color that's this meaningless value. It's not a real color. Uh, it's not a real keyword. I think if I use a dash, it's not correct, but somehow it gets evaluated and that works, uh, which is sort of a weird uh, trick tricklet uh, there. Uh, I think that's all the other optimizations I can make. And we submit and we're done. Final submit and we're done. All right. Thanks for watching.